like everything was a party only 18 years deep and now we're getting started what is going on guys it is goal 86 here bringing you the second episode of bring back the beast leading up to the release of fifa 14 i'd just like to say a quick thank you the first episode went down an absolute treat guys it was really really great the feedback that i received from you so thank you very much for that so without further ado if you'd like to buy it cheap reliable ultimate team coins then go to cheaputcoins.com they're about £5 for 100k at the moment on PS3 and Xbox, so that's equivalent to about £50 for a million coins, which is probably one of the cheapest on the market. You'll find the link in the description below. So let's move on to this week's player. And it's none other than Manuel, the destroyingly overpowered centre-back from Atletico Paranaense in La Liga de Brazil. Now, the reason he wasn't in FIFA 13 was due to the fact that the team he actually played for were actually relegated so he had no choice really he was loyal he stuck with the club I know that he has been playing as a little bit of a right back so this is what is making me put him as a centre back with a little bit less pace because I'm not really sure what position 100% he's going to be in FIFA 14 so without further ado let's look at the guy's stats now in fifa 12 i mean i think you guys know the brazilian silver squads were absolutely drenched with sweat and manuel was a very very common center back he was the the dead a or the santana of fifa 12 to be totally honest with you the only thing that actually was on his side was because he was a silver card you got away with a little bit more than you probably would with a sweaty cheap gold card now for the pace stats we've gone down, like I said, I'm not sure if he's going to be a centre-back or a right-back. I hope to God he's going to be a centre-back because he's an absolute tank. Now, dribbling I've put up because, like I said, he's been a bit of a ball player and right-back. So let's see if his feet work are probably going to be a lot better, which I actually think they are going to be, to be totally truthful. His shooting's gone up by one. He yeah, didn't score many goals last season. Passing up by one, like I said. Maybe the ball at his feet a little bit more, so we'll stick to passing up. I put his defending up by one and his heading up by one as well. I mean, I just think, generally speaking, that he is going to be an absolute beast card, regardless of him being a right back or a centre back. I just think that having him back in the game is going to make everyone so happy, and hopefully, with uh, with the new skill system, it might make the Brazilian skill silver squads a lot more fun to use again. Because this game, other than the the overpowered scoopter and skills, generally have just not been great to use. To be totally honest with you. Now, one thing I will say, I think that his price is going to be an absolute rocket when he's in FIFA 14. I think as a silver centre-back with such high pace, like top rack in this particular game, I just feel that the price is going to be very, very high for him. So this could be one of the ones to watch to trade with at the start of the game. I think that might be a good tip, actually. This, this could be one of the guys to, to start your trading with, especially now he's new and back into the game. It could be absolutely perfect. Okay, guys, that is it. If we can get 30 likes on this video, then I will release another Bring Back the Beast a little bit early because it's real fun to make these. It's, it's good to do a lot of research on the players to see what they've been doing, why they weren't in FIFA 13, etc. etc. So, guys, if you are new here, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This is Goal86, guys, and peace.